hello guys welcome to excellence biomedical engineering uh, if this is your first time on this youtube channel please don't forget to like share and subscribe so on today's video here we have a final year project idea which also could be used in a semester uh, you know project so this is our iot based uh, patient monitoring system using esb8266 wi-fi and so uh, on this detail i'm going to show you uh, a brief about it first of all before we uh, move into uh, the topic we, it's very important that we understand what is our uh, internet of things what is internet of things describes the physical objects with sensors okay processing ability software and other technologies that connect the the exchange you know it connects and also exchange data with uh, other devices and systems over the internet or other communication networks such as maybe uh, bluetooth uh, zigbee wi wi-fi okay so here with me <coughs> as you see we have our uh pulse sensor here and then we have our arduino esp8266 uh wi-fi module as it is here and then we uh we have uh, our arduino Eno board which is here also and then we have uh lcd display and then apart from lcd display we have our breadboard here uh, and uh, we also have temperature uh, sensor which is lm35 sorry it got uh, disconnected let me put it back so i'm going to show you uh, the connection step by step as uh, illustrated from uh, from a link which i provided to you guys so these are the hardware uh, components. So apart from this, uh, we have our open server, uh, sorry, open source uh, web server, which is uh, ThingSpeak. It is from which, uh, you know, we read out our data. As you can see, I'm pointing out to you, this is ThingSpeak. It is our web server, uh, which is open source. Uh, one once you just go to this thingspeak.com, what you do is that you uh, set up a new account for yourself. And then after setting up a new account, uh, you create channel. And then, which I'm going to show you guys uh, bit by bit how to uh, set it up. So now I'm going to log in and I'm going to connect our, uh, our project so that we could test it and see physically how it is working so now check out guys as you can see from here uh last time we used this device was 22 hours ago and uh now we want to use it again so this is the last update we got from the last 22 hours ago so let us connect it first of all what you need to do is that you have already uploaded your code to your arduino board and then you have already inserted your uh ssid wi-fi code and uh api code and everything so uh the next thing you do is that you connect it after you connected it then the next step you're going to uh take as you can see now, right now our uh, device is showing patient health monitoring system so it is in initializing so what we what just have to do now is that we need to open up our uh hotspot so once you open our hotspot already since we have already inserted the ssid of this hotspot uh, it, it is automatically going to connect to this our uh, ESP8266. Uh, so first of all, uh, we just have to get it connected. And after that, right now I have just uh, turned on my hotspot. As you can see here, I've turned it on. And uh, yeah, it is on right now. So it is going to get connected automatically because I've already inserted the SSID code of uh this our uh hotspot so it is going to connect automatically and from which from that time it will start to send data you know over the uh cloud server so we're waiting for it to be connected and after which it will all right so let's let's uh open it back again let us on it and huh so right now we have turned it on again so while while our hotspot is open so what you do is that first make sure your hotspot is opened okay and then you turn on 
your uh, your device so now it is going to get connected automatically and after it gets the data here is our sensor pulse sensor so yeah I have just put on my hand and it is going to uh, send the data over the cloud server so it is connected right now and uh, let us now what we are going to do is that uh, we are going to check when last it's got a, a data so you have to wait after some 15 seconds okay after 15 seconds it will get updated and you know fluctuate hi so you see just less than a minute just less than a, less than a minute it's got fluctuated and see some values we have here okay so that's just it so follow me bit by bit where i'll be showing you guys the connection and uh you know uh channel creation and then to connect you to the server all so okay guys uh <clears throat> since you uh you are about to uh you know send your uh data to the cloud server so after setting up your uh your uh, hardware project as it is here you have already make up every settings and connections and it is showing on an lcd display so the next thing you do is that you go to uh think speak server uh thingspeak.com so what you do is that uh you create an account with them uh sign in with your email address and create password so after that what you do is you come to uh channels and then create a new channel in which you can send your data from the ESPA 266 to the web uh, server so let me create a new channel here and make a new settings so that we could see from step by step so the first thing you do is that you create the name of your channel for example i have made some names here so let me just pick up one that is already available to save time so let's say i want to use a uh, patient uh, monitoring remotely and then i could uh, you know make any description and say for instance this portal is used privately for let's say a specific hospital or anything like that or it is used for the sake of uh project so i can leave it as that way for example uh project use only okay so and then i i, I need two fields uh, because from my project here i have uh i have my pulse sensor and then i have my lm35 uh, temperature sensor that means i have only two parameters to send so therefore in this field here i'm going to click two two fields the first one let's say pulse rate okay pulse rate and the next one i can say uh we have a temperature temperature so uh then the next thing uh i go down here go down go down go down go down there is no need to you know so just show status you can show status or you can leave it or you can just go save channel so after saving this channel what you have to do now is you just have to uh go to api keys like i told you from the past uh that description project use only is here and this is the name so you go to api keys and then after coming to api keys what you do is that uh you just have to click on uh you know uh read keys because you know uh read key and write key when you say write key it means like from the web server you can give your project command maybe to turn off or to turn on or to control something from the web server directly but read api key is used only to send data over the over the cloud server not to send inform not to send command from the cloud server so you you copy this key here and once you copy this key here what you have to do is that you have to go to your uh you know uh arduino ide uh, portal and one once uh, sorry your arduino ide uh app and then you after copying the code which i sent in the you know in the website below so you go to here in uh api key here which is string api key from here as you can see it it is written here so you put you copy that uh you know api key from the web server and paste it here so after that what you have to do next is uh you go to uh you know this program code line number 74 line number 74 yeah i can be able to read it as you can see here i'm reading 
line number 50 60 then i'm going to line number 74 yes in line number 74 i'll be able to what to check my you know uh wi-fi password as you can see it here uh in this code it is in line number 77 line number 77 so here we have uh our here in this abc here it is the name of our uh, you know hotspot and then here these numbers are the name of our you know other uh, sorry password key of our hotspots so once you just do this upload it and then you save it and then what you do next is you upload it direct to your arduino code so after uploading it then automatically what will happen is that we are going to be seeing uh we are going to be seeing our data being exported over here in the internet as you can see from uh, our previous channel so thank you guys please check in the link below of this video we have posted a link a uh, website link where you can see all the directions of how to carry out this activity theoretically and then please if you have any doubt please don't forget to don't hesitate to contact us from our contact details as provided in the description below thank you guys well, thank you guys for watching please if this is the first time on this youtube channel please don't forget to like share and subscribe and for project guidance you can uh, contact us uh, from the uh, details we give in the description for any project guidance thank you guys